Welcome to Down East Outdoors Tackle and Tips, bringing you expert advice and information to help you catch more fish. Tackle and Tips is brought to you by Pepsi and Minji's Bottling Group, Easy Bait and Tackle, Goldsboro, East Coast Sports, Surf City, and Captain Joe Shoots Bait and Tackle, Atlantic Beach. Hello, I'm Captain Joe Shute and welcome to the Tackle and Tips segment. Today we're going to be going over a quick and easy rig for catching cobia that are feeding around bait balls. Okay, I'm going to go over a small rig that we use a lot uh, for cobias. When we're fishing bait balls out in the ocean, a lot of times the cobias will be underneath the bait ball, so you're going to need to get your bait down. And this is a, an easy rig, a strong rig, and it'll do the job. We start out with a six salt uh, octopus style Gamagatsu hook. It's a real sharp hook. We're going to take some 100 pound mono and snell this hook. Pull that down tight. Then, if you notice, we're going to bring our mono back through the eye of this hook. And that's our snell. The snell's complete here. This isn't going to be a long rig, it's only going to be about six inches long when I get done with it. Take your scissors, trim that off. Next, we're going to slide a small sleeve on our line. This is going to act as a stop. Okay, you see I've pulled that sleeve up to about three or four inches above this hook. I'm going to take my crimpers. We're going to crimp this down. Just all this is is a line stop, so all it's doing, we're crimping this down so it won't slide. Next, I'm going to put a small bead on here, a small red bead. It's going to butt up right against the uh, sleeve right there. And I use either a half ounce, a three quarter ounce, or a one ounce egg sinker. It depends on the depth of water and how bad the current is or how rough it is. Of course, the rougher it is, the heavier you go. So I'm just going to put a half ounce on here right now. Slide this on the mono. And then we're going to slide our other sleeve on. Okay, slide the swivel on and then we run our mono back through the other side of the sleeve. Pull it down nice and tight and then we crimp that sleeve. Then we trim that off. And that's your whole entire rig right there. Now I'll take probably a dozen or two of these rigs with me every time I go fishing. The way we fish this rig, you tie your line on coming from your rod right here. You take your menhaden. I like to fish live menhaden when I'm fishing for cobia. I'll take this hook and I'll run it through his nostrils through one side out the other. Either that or I'll go through his lower jaw out his upper jaw. This fish is still alive and what you do you throw it on the edge of the bait pod and Depending on what size weight you got on here is how fast that bait's going to sink underneath that bait pod. The farther down it gets, the more the fish struggles. And with him being on the outside of that school, if there's a cobia there, he can't stand it. This is not a circle hook, so when that fish hits, you set the hook real hard. Uh, this is a very effective rig. We use it all the time. It's very simple. If you need any more uh, tips on how to catch cobia, stop by Captain Joe Shoots Bait and Tackle and give us a call. And we'll be more than happy to set you up with all the stuff that you need.